<laughs> Our guest tonight is Jen Russman. Um, Jen Russman is an emotional release practitioner, practitioner and self-healing expert specializing in the energetics of mind-body healing. After nearly seven years sick and disabled with MS, Jen made a power of decision to heal and reclaim her health and life naturally. As a differently abled entrepreneur, Jen is passionate about changing the narrative around how we view and address trauma, mental health, and chronic illness. She, sh she celebrates the living beyond labels and champions turning pain into power by giving it purpose. Jen's energy healing practice specializes in clearing emotional blocks and releasing energetic attachments to trauma out of the body. I, I have this bad habit that after I read somebody's bio, I, I like jump right into questioning them. And this bio <laughs> makes me want to do that. But I know that I have to follow procedure and process and welcome you in and then ask you to tell us a little more about yourself. That's because um, Yermi's here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So before I start bombarding you with questions <laughs> just it. from your like four paragraph, not even paragraphs, but your four point bio, mm -hmm. first a little, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and what you're all about. And then we'll get into the, to the, the questioning. But I thought you just did that for me. I, I did, but we want to hear from you because, okay, here's why there's a line you have in here, which we were discussing in the pre-show that you made a power of decision to heal and reclaim your health and life naturally. That is one of those things that, again, I did a double take. I'm like, wait, what is that? What so that sure, I can read a bio, but then my ignorance comes across. Whereas if you talk about who you are and what you're doing, then that, then, you know, then we get the real, the real gen, the, the full gen. Ah, uh, you want the full gen. We want the full gen. <laughs> Everybody strap your seat. I don't on. know if you're ready for that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, thank you so much, Brock and Yermi, you guys oh, adore both of you. Um, yeah, so, wow, I don't even know where to begin. You know, the reason the reason I'm here now where I am in my life, doing what I do, being the way that I'm being and, and bringing the healing into the world that I desire to bring into the world is because of my own lived experiences, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, we're here to talk. I think what we're going to touch on tonight, I'm a big proponent of, you know, changing and leaving the old story behind and all the identities and the labels and the diagnoses that go with that mm -hmm. to be a powerful creator and creating your, you know, you, you're the creator of your life. You get to decide. Right. And I'm always saying, you know, you get to like, like life, you get to decide what your healing journey looks and feels like and what it means to you. So I'm here coming from lived experiences from childhood traumas to years of addiction to that turned into ultimately years of chronic illness that I did not live very well those years. Um, mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> fast forward, you know, you mentioned, I don't know if you want me to go into the power of decision now, but um, that really, mm -hmm. if you were to like, when people ask me, like, if I, if I look back on my life and I say, what was that turning point? What was that defining moment, that line in the sand moment that everything changed for me? And I went from victim to powerful creator in my life. It was when I was 36 years and I woke up that day after seven years of hell, wow. living sick, disabled and homebound with wow. a chronic illness that I told, I was told there's, we don't know the cure or we don't know the cause. There's no cure. It's progressive. And you're just going to get worse and more disabled as you get older. Wow. And I woke up one day at the age of 36, didn't plan on waking up with this. It wasn't my plan. And I call that a divine intervention. Hmm. That's wow. what I've always called that power of decision was a divine intervention. Wow. That something moved in me that day. Hmm. Um, but that's really ultimately what happened for me. But I don't believe it just happened for me. It yeah. happened for me. But then because of the choices I made, from that moment moving forward, it's now happening through me because mm. I'm able, I feel a divine responsibility to share what's possible when it comes right. to healing right. the incurable. Right. You know, when right. it comes right. to healing things like trauma that we're told, conditioned to believe we're stuck with the rest of our lives. Right.